In this episode, we discuss my top five tips so that you can crush your upcoming interview for your engineering internship or co-op. All of those coming up. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees and you are watching the 1% Engineer Show where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. If this is your first time here guys, make sure you subscribe because I release videos two times a week for engineering success. And if you have a question, a struggle, an inquiry, or anything, comment below. I've been getting a lot of questions from engineering students about their upcoming interviews for potential internships and co-ops next summer. So I put together this top five power tip list so that you can crush it at that interview. So let's jump right into tip number one. Make sure you know who the interviewers are. If you were not provided this information, it's okay to email, it's okay to call and ask. It is so important that you do research on these people, primarily looking at their LinkedIn profiles, you understand their backstory, you understand where they went to college, where they worked before this, everything about them, because you're looking for commonalities with these interviewers. Maybe they were a leader of an organization that you're a part of. Maybe they were an athlete in a sport that you play. Maybe they went to the same school as you. Maybe they were in the same fraternity or sorority as you. If you have something in common with one of the interviewers, you're going to have that immediate connection. They're going to like you so much more. You're going to stand out among all the other candidates. And this is gonna give you such an advantage versus everyone else. So guys, make sure you ask who these people are so that you have these advantages in the room. Tip number two, make sure you really understand the role, the type of position that this internship or co-op actually is. Because what this company really wants is someone who is destined to have a career in this field and they're looking for a student who has a specific set of skills, a specific set of existing interests and experience for this role. And in the room, when you're selling yourself, when you're giving the, why are you the right fit for this job? You want to know exactly what it entails so that you can sell yourself as a great match for that. So if you know any specific softwares, if you've taken any specific tech electives or maybe even advanced courses that can be applicable for this internship, you need to mention those. You need to understand the role so that you can sell yourself as an exact match. Tip number three, you need to understand the company culture because if they believe in something that you believe in too it further reinforces why you're a good match for this company and it may also encourage you to stay there after graduation at the end of the day that's exactly what these companies are looking for somebody who's going to return after you're finished with your degree and if they believe in something like sustainable energy and if you live a green lifestyle because that is a part of your mission in this world as well they're going to be attracted to you because they know you're attracted to them tip number four is to be up to date about that company. Yes, of course, you need to know what that company does, the products that they make or whatever. But even more important, guys, you have to go on their social media, look at their blog, look at the awards they may have won lately, the new softwares they may have announced lately, the new executives they may have hired, a new project that has launched. Be relevant about whatever is going on in the company right now. It's going to impress the interviewers. It's going to make you look like you're on your toes. It's going to make you look like you're following that industry and you're really into whatever that company does. So check the social media, check the blog, be relevant. Don't be afraid to bring up any current events or news that's applicable to that industry. For example, net neutrality or robotics are super hot right now at the end of 2017. Those are good examples. And tip number five is to bring good questions, at least two questions. If you know what's relevant to the company right now, you can ask about that new project. You can ask about what this new technology or this new software means for their industry. It's a good blend. Tip number four and five go well together. It shows that you're on the pulse of that industry. It shows that you care. It shows that you're up to date. A lot of professionals, they go home and they just watch TV. But asking good questions shows that you are just so interested in the field and passionate about whatever it is that that company does. And again, they're going to be attracted to you. So guys, those are my top five tips so that you can crush your interview for that internship or co-op next summer. If you want the 1% engineer kit and access to the Facebook group, follow the links below. If you have a specific question, comment below and I'll get right to that or make a video for you. And if these tips helped you guys, make sure you subscribe because I release videos two times a week for engineering success. Thanks for watching the 1% engineer show guys. And as always stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% engineer. Cheers.